Hi, have you ever wondered if there are some things that are around you that are impacting your fertility? Today I'm going to be discussing exactly how the environmental toxins can impact your fertility. So welcome today um, for the tea with the Fertility Godmother. I'm really excited to be here with you today. We have um, some a couple things going on that I'm excited about. One is we're going to be talking about these toxins uh, today and next week. And then on Wednesday next week, we're actually going to take a deep dive into really going over what toxins are in your home, are in your body, and um, not only how they affect your body, get, trying to get pregnant, but how you can get rid of them. So if that's something you're interested in, please type in the comments below the word detox. That would be really great and then we'll do a live training it's going to be in our exclusive facebook group and it's a new um, facebook group it's private that we have so if you're already in one of our facebook groups then please make sure that you get in the right one because we'll be doing the training live uh, in in that group and i'm really excited because this is really important information for you and there's a lot of things that you can do for yourself which i love giving you things that you can do for yourself to help you get pregnant so um, please, you guys, I also, I know I'm talking about toxins, but if, if you're on live, can you please say hi. And if there's anything that you want to ask me, go ahead and do that. I'd love to an answer your questions while we're here. Okay. So um, what happens is over time, your body accumulates. Hi, Jennifer. Good to see you. Um, what happens is your body over time accumulates toxins. And um, even if you're really clean, unfortunately, with the world that we live in is very, is very toxic. You can't get away from it, but you can do things about it. So I just need you to be aware, okay, uh, that you want to limit them as much as you can. And we're going to talk more about that in our deep dive. But um, what happens is they're they're called endocrine disruptors, and you can get them in like your, in your canned foods, in your foods that you're eating, in your household products, and they're all over. And what it happens is, is they mimic estrogen. Hey, hey, Jennifer says, hey, hey, or hi, hi. Um, and what happens is they mimic estrogen, and um, so it blocks the communication with your cells, but they don't just block estrogen. They're called endocrine disruptors because they impact the whole endocrine system. So they affect your estrogen, they affect your testosterone, they affect um, insulin levels. In fact, there's um, some more theories about why diabetes is increasing so rapidly is because of these, um, these, these endocrine disruptors mimic insulin as well. Uh, so what happens is instead of the actual hormone or attaching to the cell, so your cells, they're all communicating with each other, sending signals, you know, send more, um, send more hormones so I can produce more follicles. You know, I'm going to do implantation. So send signals that my body's ready for implantation or whatever it may be for your thyroid. These can also really impact your thyroid. So um, instead of connecting to the actual hormone, they connect with these, they call them xenoestrogens uh, or these um, endocrine disruptors, these chemicals that mimic these hormones. And so instead of attaching, you get an excess buildup and then your body doesn't get the right communication. So this can impact your overall health and your overall fertility. And when you get a buildup of them, so your body is definitely always detoxifying and some better than others depending on how clean you are but um your body is always detoxifying but there is so much that your body gets a build up and they like to be stored in your fat tissue and it's, so it's, some, it's hard to get them out sometimes and what what happens is they um they affect the whole production of your eggs. So if you have an egg quality issue, it's going to attach to your eggs and affect the, the receptor cells from the hormones to say produce more eggs. It's going to affect your egg quality. Um, this is why it's so important to eat clean and to get them out. That's one of the reasons why you hear me all the time talking about um, eating clean and having some healthy fertility foods. Um, it also impacts, uh, also blocks insulin. So what happens is you have, again, you have these little I want to call it, do you remember, do you guys remember learning like that lock and key in physiology? Did you guys take that? Um, I 
love that class. But anyways, you have this like lock and key um, on your cells and your hormones. And if the wrong key gets into the lock, you can't get the right key in there. So it's going to pretend like it's the right key, but it's not going to be able to open the door. So you need to really make sure that we're trying to, to get those out. So it, I, um, so these are the things that it affects. So BPA is one of the chemicals, BPA and phthalates. Those are the big ones. And again, we're going to talk about, go into a deep dive and talk about even more about how it impacts your body, how you can get rid of them, what they are. But this topic is very in depth. So I'm going to just kind of piecemeal it. In fact, next week, we're going to really talk about what, um, what household items are that are in your house of um, some common toxins that are in your house that are impacting your fertility. So you'll want to join us next week too. And if you are interested in doing a deep dive with us, I'm going to do a free 30 minute training next Wednesday to talk about um, exactly what the toxins are, how they affect your body and what you can do to get rid of them. And if that's something that you'd love to join us for, please type in the word detox and we can get you that information so we can get that right out to you. So again, uh, BPA disrupts your estrogen, which affects your ovaries, it affects your uterus, it affects your brain. And if, and, um, they can impact your insulin levels because you can, it will bind to the insulin cell and not let the insulin in. And that causes a whole cascade of events, like especially with PCOS and diabetes. It can affect testosterone. Um, it can also uh, impact your thyroid levels. So it does a lot of different things to your body. So we're gonna really encourage you to start paying attention to the different things that you're, that you're eating and that you're putting into your body um, and start now, okay? And we'll look forward to seeing you in next week to talk even more about it. And please join us for our deep dive. Oh, um, I wanted to also invite you for in honor of PCOS, we are doing a um, free uh, Q&A on uh, Thursday at 7 o'clock, but you'll have to sign up for that as well. And Haley can put the link in here if it's something you would be interested in. We're doing a live, um, a live just questions and answers from the Fertility Godmother specifically about if you have PCOS, so I can help you with that. All right, you guys, make it a great day. Here's to your fertility. So good to see you, and we'll see you uh, next week or maybe even on Thursday. All right, take care. Bye-bye.